theme, I think, is kind of the base of what we do, right? And we try to incorporate every project that we have into STEM STEAM activities. During the summer program this year, we're back in person. We had a two year break from the pandemic and so it's nice to have everyone back in this building that we are now at NEAU El Centro. We have students from all of our programs. So we have our elementary school students, middle school students, and the high school students. So you're walking around through these glass doors and you're seeing classrooms full of students from third graders to high schoolers building robots, working in underwater robotics, creating LEDs and you know working on different engineering topics and uh, architecture topics as well. We also have our cultural arts program. We're getting a little bit of everything, right? They're coming in, they're getting to do the STEM activities, they're getting sessions from presenters, they're doing cultural arts projects, they're also working on Alebrijes. We're taking them on a field trip to see Alebrijes and so it's a, it's a full program, right? We are opening a door. This door, it's a new possibility for them to explore what STEAM is, what is the possibilities to be involved in careers with STEAM. We are growing, we are promoting the teens to be the best they can be. The summer of eighth grade and going into my freshman year of high school, I heard about this robotics summer program and I was like, this sounds cool, but I don't know anything about robotics. I am so glad that I did it because I met so many cool people. I learned a lot of cool stuff and I was exposed from like that, I guess that critical age to something that I'm pursuing in college as a degree. It's always nice to see the full circle in the program and I do like to share that I was a student of the program. Some of these students I know since they were in middle school, right? And so it's, it's nice to get that, that full picture. After like having my first three years at UIC, um, I gained more experience, so I came back as a teacher for middle school students. So hopefully they get motivated the same way that I was motivated when I was younger. Folkloric dance, I think, is a very, very, very important component. It was very important in my um, history. I feel like it, it has so many benefits, you know, from the sense of pride, the sense of, you know, learning about your cultural background, learning about your history, making connections with your family. The dual enrollment program here at North Eastern University has been around for quite some time. Some of that work that we're doing is making sure students in their junior year start with a basic course on computer science that is still transferable and that it holds three credit hours. Um, so they go through four of those courses. So by the time they get through their high school years and go to college, they'll have a whole semester done. So about 14 credit hours, completely out of no cost to them. Through those critical thinking process to the problem solving, all the skill sets that computer science brings, they're able to see things differently. They can't see what are the benefits to things, right? Not so much, this is the only choice I have, but these are the multitude of choices that I have, and now I could actually make decisions based on all those choices. When we got the opportunity to go to China, um, we were able to do a small workshop with people from China who were experiencing the program with us. It was such a cool experience because I feel like getting that little like introduction to circuits and controllers um, is also another gateway to STEM. You are a teen in the age of 17, 16, 18 that became an international leader promoting science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in known privileged neighborhoods around the world. If this is not what is good, I have no idea what we can say that is good. Here's where a lot of students end up finding their passion that otherwise they wouldn't have been exposed to. And you know, they, they make a lot of new friendships and create long, lifelong relationships. And it even affects their families because then their families see them flourishing and it's just indescribable. I feel like a great big part of who I am has been thanks to all my experiences and this program. I'm very grateful that this program exists um, because one, I got, I got to see like the fruition of all the labor <laughs> and then I got to see how it's helped other people and I got to experience firsthand how it has helped me.